Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And this is Earphone Tuesdays, the feature where we unbox, test and provide some feedback and more importantly, give you some first, real first impressions of audio products. And today we're specifically looking at a review unit of the EXA GT1 gaming earbuds that we've been sent for review by EXA. Now, this is something that I've never seen before. It's wireless Bluetooth earbuds aimed at the gaming segment. So we've seen lots of different types of wireless earbuds, mainly Bluetooth 5 ones, but these ones are optimized for low latency and gaming. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how these perform and how they do. So as we can see, there's EXA branding at the top and GT1 True Wireless Gaming Earbuds. There's a few details on the back. Uh, according to EXA, you get 36 hours of battery life. That's six hours on the earbuds themselves and the casing will charge you for an extra 30 uh, for an extra 30 hours. So really good battery life as well. So what I'm going to do is take the cardboard slip off and the box itself is quite premium. Sort of a, one of those magnetic boxes. If you listen, you can hear it go. So it's a magnetic box and on the inside we have the EXA GT1 gaming earphones. Now this is uh, in the style we've maybe more commonly found on Alienware or Razer or other gaming uh, products. Uh, this is a case to wireless earbuds. And on the back we can see there's a USB type C port, which is good to see. USB type C being the new standard for that sort of thing. Right, now these are the earbuds themselves. What I'll do is just leave them in their box uh, for a moment and before I do anything else I want to see what else is in the box. So we have the cardboard insert, a quick user manual with the product specifications and in the bag what's in here? Gonna have to rip this one open or use my knife. Here we go. So inside the bag we have a USB type A to USB type C cable. So this is what you use to charge these EXA GT1 earbuds. And there's also an extra set of tips in different sizes. I'm assuming medium is already applied, but you also get, in this case, uh, small and large there. So we'll put these aside and let's focus on the earbuds themselves. So inside you can see there's one for right, one for left. I don't think they're powered on just yet. And oh, here we go. We've got the pogo pins on the inside that had a little bit of plastic over them. So I'll pop that in. And ooh, they're lighting up. This is exciting. And the other one. There we go, I've removed that. And so you can see that's quite a cool feature. And you don't only get the earbuds with the lighting up going on on them. At the side, you also get a cool sort of blue effect coming on there from the side. So that is your EXA GT1 in their case once they're ready to go. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to get my Samsung Galaxy A52 5G. That's the phone I'm going to be pairing them with. And we'll go through the pairing process and see how that works. So first I'll just need to use the fingerprint scanner if it decides to work. Or I'll just use my super secret pattern and we'll pull down quick settings, long press on Bluetooth.
and we have Bluetooth on. So, great. I'm going to take the earbuds out. Interesting, so the spoken voice in the earbuds is English. So it's English spoken word to tell you what the status is. And they're now in pairing mode with the flashing light. So we see that in my Samsung Galaxy A52 5G, we have GT1 there. I'm going to connect to that. And I'm going to confirm. And the English spoken word there gave me a decent indication that they're now connected. So that's the EXA GT1 now connected. I will be using these for a few hours this evening and tomorrow I'll film my first impressions video. After a few video calls, a bit of music, audiobooks, podcasts, and maybe watching some YouTube video and more importantly, some gaming. Yes, I'll use the A52 to maybe play a bit of Call of Duty Mobile or PUBG and see how they perform with sound in that context. Just bear in mind, we may have an ad slot here, uh, but bear with us, we'll be back soon. And so here's a sample of the EXA GT1 gaming earbuds in use. So I have the gaming earbuds in my ears. This is the sound you'd get from the microphone over a Facebook Messenger call. And in this case, I'm caught video calling our Chief Aperture Officer, Lukash. Good evening, Lukash. Hi, yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Sounds good to me. It sounds good, but these are almost as importantly, they look amazing, as in really the casing, which is not lit up at the moment because I don't have the earbuds in the case, look the part as well as giving great bass. And I think you can hear me clearly. So for gaming, these seem to be a really good thing. Six hours battery life sounds like a, a good, good option. And not only that, they're a modern pair of earbuds, USB Type-C for charging. Anyway, back to our uh, unboxing and first impressions video of the EXA GT1. I have a feeling this is, these are going to be my next earbuds on my next big trip, which is later this week. Speak to you soon, Lukash. Okay then, so I'm back. I've been using the EXA for uh, yet the whole of yesterday evening and most of this morning. And I have to say, overall, the sound quality is amazing. They don't just look good. And when I say they look good, they have the light up section on the earbuds themselves. They have the light up section on the side of the case. They look good in that I really like the design and they feel good in the ear. Uh, when you're wearing them, they have a certain sort of good feel to them for ones with for earbuds with such long stems. And I have to say, it is a bit of a breath of fresh air in the earphone sector when someone goes a bit out there and does something a bit different in terms of design. They're not just plain smooth, uh, smooth ear earbuds. So great design. Uh, the sound quality, as I said, was great. I used them for audiobooks, podcasts, uh, watching YouTube videos, and watching video as well as playing some games such as Call of Duty Mobile. And on my PC, I was using this with uh, Star Wars Squadrons. So, excellent quality sound. One thing you need to be aware of is that these earphones have two separate modes. They have music mode, which is on by default, and then when you double tap one of the earbuds, they uh, go into gaming mode. Now, gaming mode is the ultra low latency mode. It does use more battery life, but you get slightly more bass when that's on and close to no latency at all. So this is particularly good if you're watching, say, a podcast where someone is speaking on a video for example, I was catching up on This Week in Tech from twit.tv and uh, 
in music mode, there was a certain amount of lag between what Leo Laporte was saying on screen and what I was hearing. But once I put them into gaming mode, that latency went to close to zero. So it's a bit of a balance here. You get to choose which mode you prefer. And I have to say, in either mode, if you're just listening to music, the sound is great. Uh, I, you don't really notice that there's any lag there. But for gaming and watching video with someone speaking in it, uh, it's definitely worth doing. In terms of charging, they charged really well via USB Type-C. You can charge the case independently of the earbuds, so you can be charging the case whilst you have the earbuds in. But at this point, I've been through less than a full charge, despite having been using them for almost 12 hours at this point. So, really good earphones from EXA, the G EXA GT1. We'll put links into the description where you can purchase these or look them up on the EXA website. Uh, just bear in mind, these aren't maybe the most compact earbuds, but you have a funky design, you have something definitely different on the earbuds themselves, and if you're a gamer, this might fit in with your overall setup. I haven't found any way to change the colours on the LEDs on the earbuds or the case, uh, but I'll add an extra video if I do. For now, thanks for watching. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. And for now, thanks for watching.